Most Photoshop users adjust color balance by intuition. They drag the sliders until it looks nice. But color balance has its own logic. Once you understand it, you can control color much more accurately. As we know, Photoshop works with six basic colors. Red, green, and blue, the RGB system, and cyan, magenta, and yellow, the CMY system. When these colors interact, they create each other, red, green, and blue. Any two of them combine to form cyan, magenta, or yellow. And the opposite is also true, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Any two of them combine to form red, green, or blue. All three RGB colors mixed together create white. All three CMY colors mixed together create black. Remembering this principle is very important. When you open color balance, you will see three sliders. On the left, cyan, magenta, and yellow. On the right, red, green, and blue. As mentioned earlier, red, green, and blue together form white. So if you drag all three sliders to the right, the image becomes brighter. And if you drag them to the left, the image becomes darker. Conclusion 1. Sliding to the right brightens the image, and sliding to the left darkens it. We can clearly see the pattern. Red is opposite to cyan, green is opposite to magenta, and blue is opposite to yellow. On the color wheel, these pairs sit directly across from each other. This is the relationship known as opposite colors. I already have a video that explains this concept in detail. You can check it in the top right corner. Opposite colors, when combined, create gray bringing the image back to a neutral state without brightening or darkening it. Conclusion 2. Colors on opposite sides of the sliders are complementary, and combining them results in gray. Let's see what happens when we add color to a neutral gray image. This is the simplest way to understand opposite colors and how color balance actually builds color. Suppose we want to turn this gray image into a pure yellow. We start by pushing the yellow slider to the left in midtones, shadows, and highlights. Even at maximum levels, the yellow that appears is still a bit dark and not fully saturated. The reason is simple. According to conclusion 1, dragging to the left adds color in the darker range. So what we're creating here is dark yellow. Based on color theory, yellow is formed by red plus green. So we continue by pushing the red and green sliders to the right. As these two colors increase, the yellow in the image becomes stronger and more complete. Only after combining, bright yellow from the highlights, dark yellow from the shadows, neutral yellow from the midtones, and adding red plus green, do we finally get a true, clean yellow? Conclusion 3. Any color on one end of the slider is created by the two colors on the opposite side. Red equals magenta plus yellow. Green equals cyan plus yellow. Blue equals cyan plus magenta. Now let's move on to the next example. Let's say I want to change the color of this flower to blue. But no matter how I move the sliders, the color only shifts slightly. That's because color balance adds color, and it only works effectively on areas that contain gray information. For pure white or pure black, where there is no gray at all, color balance will have almost no visible effect. So to recolor this flower, we first need to introduce some gray. We can darken it slightly with curves, increase the contrast, and then use hue saturation to bring the saturation down to zero, removing the original color completely. At that point, using color balance to push the tones toward blue becomes much clearer and more accurate. Color balance always works best on a gray foundation. Conclusion 4. Color balance adds color only on areas with gray. Pure white and pure black cannot receive added color. Now we come to preserve luminosity, a small option, but it makes a very clear difference when adding color. This is a normal portrait with moderate lighting. Right now, preserve luminosity is turned off. When I add color, you'll notice the overall brightness of the skin changes. It can become lighter or darker, depending on the direction of the slider. This means the new color is directly affecting the brightness of the image. Now I turn preserve luminosity on. When I add color this time, the hue changes, but the overall brightness stays almost the same. The image keeps its original lightness, only the color shifts. This part is important. Turn it on if you want to keep the original brightness of the photo. Turn it off if you want the color to also affect brightness and create stronger mood changes. Conclusion 5. Turn on preserve luminosity to keep brightness. Turn it off to let color affect brightness. Now you understand how color balance really works and why it's so much more powerful than guesswork. If you want more color theory lessons, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.